to another lippy review. So for as many of you guys have asked about it and I have dropped the ball over and over and over again on actually doing it, I am finally breaking into the Chapstick Vacation Getaway Collection. This is the one that has cotton candy, um, I think snow cone and limeade in it. Yeah, snow cone's the second one. Uh, so today we're just going to start, right? We're going to start with cotton candy today. But yeah, finally doing the thing. I wanted to do it before summer's out. It's technically not fall yet, so I technically did the thing, at least as of recording. God only knows when this will actually go up, but yeah. So let's go ahead get cotton candy out today. Go with the pink vibes. But yeah, so it's not the first time Chapstick has done cotton candy. They've done numerous variations on it, naming-wise and things too. Like there was that 7-Eleven one. There used to be cotton candy just permanent collection years and years ago when they still had Chapstick Duo. Remember Chapstick Duo? The little snap-on ones? Uh, they had a cotton candy one of that. I'm sure there have been others, but yeah. This is just regular ass cotton candy with some fluffy cotton candy on the cap and on the tube. So yes, so format-wise, it's just a regular Chapstick. Whoa! Was not expecting it to be blue. What a pleasant surprise. I, wait, come on. Looking at that packaging, you would expect pink, correct? But it's blue! Honestly, the blue cotton candy is the best cotton candy anyway, so I am thrilled with that. But yeah, so anyway, price point for this collection was $6. And it smells good. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anywho. But yeah, size-wise, it is 0.15 ounces, standard stick amount. It is very much synthetic. Um, it is a regular chapstick. They're always petrolatum-based. Ingredients for cotton candy are petrolatum, paraffin, mineral oil, octyl dodecanol, bisdiglycerol, polyacetate 2, aricodyl propionate, phenyl trimethicone, beeswax, benzyl benzoate, carnauba wax, isopropyl myristate, cetyl alcohol, uh, soy, flavor, saccharin, synthetic wax, blue one lake, isopropyl titanium, trisosterate. So, there you go. Uh, but anywho, it is part of this set, or if you buy like an entire box of it, you can get just cotton candy, but you would have to buy like a 12 pack, <laughs> so, or something crazy like that. Uh, it's, I don't think it's limited edition, as far as I know. Could be wrong on that, but anyhow, uh, it's not medicated, no SPF, no special features. So yeah, let's talk about that lovely scent on it. So this one, it's obviously very sweet. It smells just like how cotton candy tastes. Cause cotton candy isn't so much a scent as it's a taste, but but there's also something slightly like blue raspberry-ish about it. But it, it's more cotton candy than anything. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and hope it doesn't leave a blue cast. I don't think it is, so we're good. But yeah, that one's lovely. It's very creamy, very silky smooth. Yeah, I like that. It's not sticky at all. Um, not sure about shine. Let's see if it's shiny. Uh, it's like a satin finish. Okay. So it's pretty nice. It feels more like the type that'll sit there and protect from the elements rather than sink in, but that's okay. That's okay. Not a make or break for me. I'll do the drink test. It thinned out a little, but it stayed on, so I'll count it. I forgot to check for any wiggly turn wheel issues. It's kind of wiggly. All right. And it's like a fast glider, too, so if that turns in your pocket, you're fucked. There's like no safety bump, but it's very wiggly. So, okay, that's a point. But at least the cap stays good, so let me think. I do like it. But at the end of the day, it's just cotton candy. But I still feel like 
I'm trying to decide if I'm giving it the wow factor point or not. I mean, it's such a basic flavor, but on the other hand, I'm so pleasantly surprised by the things like the unexpected color of the wax, yet not having a blue cast with it. I'm surprised by the really great formula in the consistency. So you know what? Hell with it. I'm giving it that wow factor point. So, um, I'm gonna dog half a point for the drink test and a point for the wiggly turn wheel because I'm petty like that. But other than those, other than those, I think this is good. So I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's about average. Especially for just like a regular ass chapstick. That's pretty damn good. So that is my scoring on it. Take it or leave it. Those are my thoughts. We'll come back for the other two another day. So anyway, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.